King County Council. As the legislative branch of county government, the nine members of the Metropolitan King County Council set the policies, enact the laws, and adopt the budgets that guide the largest jurisdiction in Washington State. The Council's mission is to protect public health and safety, enhance quality of life, and ensure public trust. Council positions are nonpartisan, and Council members are elected to four-year terms. This year, five of the nine Council positions will appear on the general election ballot. Hello, my name is Dominique Torgerson and I am running for King County Council for District 7 because we need change. I know all too well the issues that we face in our rural unincorporated areas of King County. With completely unreasonable and overburdensome permitting and zoning codes, it is otherwise a miracle if someone can even make it through the permitting process at all, much less without great financial and mental difficulty. It took our business two and a half years to make it through what should have been an over-the-counter permit. King County does little to nothing to support its rural or unincorporated businesses, which is completely evident by the fact that we have the absolute lowest percentage of sales that comes from the unincorporated areas out of any county in this entire state, at a minimal 3.2%, and that is based on 2016 numbers. King County basically has two principal sources of tax revenue, property tax and sales tax. Property taxes levied by counties can only increase by 1% every year. With that limitation, we have to be able to supplement our revenue by getting sales tax. But the only way to create this foundation of stable sales tax revenue is to support unincorporated businesses. With such limited sales tax coming back from the general fund, we have absolutely no way to continue to support the rural areas, much less get funding for anything else. My second issue that I want to address is our effect on the environment. We have such an inefficient recycling program, where most of what we recycle still ends up in the landfills. With the technology that is available, there is absolutely no reason we should even have landfills anymore. And that is something I want to change. Lastly, we need to get back to listening to the people. As elected officials, it is our duty to be servants to the people. The words career and politician should never go hand in hand. But unfortunately, it is now all too common, continually reinforced by greed and need to excessively control. If I am elected, I will push for term limits that will effectively remove the incentive for someone to try and make an elected position a career. 